Hello YouTube, it's Krosama, and here I'm just going to go ahead and do a little bit of an apartment tour, uh, as well as my Gundam room tour. So the first thing I want to talk about is uh, why I'm doing this. Well, I personally love watching kind of you know, nerdy looking apartments or houses. Um, I, I just, it usually gives me inspiration to kind of like organize my stuff in a certain manner. Um, so I'm hoping that maybe some of y'all really enjoy that stuff as well. Uh, but this is the living room. So um, basically I just, at this point, I really don't even play any games. or I don't really come in here that much. Uh, usually when I come home from work, I like just relax on the couch and then uh, watch television. And then over here, um, I do enjoy Tron, so I, sorry for the glare, but uh, I have my two Tron posters. Tron is just one of those you know movies that uh, really inspired me when I was a kid to um, look more into like science fiction and, and really just enjoy that type of stuff. And I actually used to watch, uh, not watch, but I used to write a, a lot of stories when I was a kid, so a lot of that inspiration came from Tron. And then uh, basically just got all my game stuff down here, so PlayStation, Switch, uh, everything you really do need. Uh, then over here is just essentially my Amiibos. So I'm a huge Amiibo uh, fanatic. Uh, I'm still collecting them uh, as much. Eh, I'm still trying to collect as many as I can. Uh, but you know, definitely got uh, quite a few up there. And then just some, you know, still in the packaging over here. And then all my movies over here. And then all my uh, video games here. Uh, and then pretty much got the laundry and everything over there. And then looking over here, this is the kitchen, so this is where all the magic happens. Uh, I'm actually getting ready to make a big old pot of gumbo today, so uh, I gotta actually start prep right after I upload this video. But got everything nice and organized over here. It's a little bit dirty, because uh, my wife, I think, just trashed it this morning before she went to work. Uh, but overall, everything is pretty organized. Uh, this is supposed to be like the dining area, but we just don't have any um, tables right now. So we just kind of use the bar stools and eat right up here. And then uh, just kind of like the, my old building table. All right, so going through the hallway, uh, basically bathroom this side. Now this room is littered with a bunch of stuff that I still need to go through. I just haven't gone through any of it yet. So eventually this room will be the guest room and I'll have like a nice little bed over here, maybe like a dresser and some stuff. Um, but we'll see. I just. I'm not really too sure. Uh, this is the bedroom over here. So this is actually where the magic is. Um, let me turn on one more light. All right, hopefully that light adds a little bit. Um, but this is where I build. So all the building happens right over here. And basically, uh, you know, watching videos and all that right there. And then this is the actual review station. So all the reviews are filmed right here. All right, next, uh, basically just I like to hang up all my... Uh, I want to like actually get shelves right here so that way I can hang up all the paints and everything But uh, it's just kind of like what I'm doing right now I got some uh, foam so that way I can kind of minimize the acoustics in here because uh, it is pretty um, Echoey in this uh, area. So I got my light right up there my light right here And I'm getting two more lamps that I I'll be able to put behind me uh, To really like drown out the uh, the shadows on this side because this is this is the worst side right here is I have no light coming from this uh, angle so I just gotta like perfect that. Uh, and looking at the closets, uh, nothing really too crazy, but I do have in here, so these are all the, uh, let me raise the ISO. So these are all the boxes, uh, just empty boxes, nothing really in here. I keep all my paints down there, and then up here is uh, all my posters that I still haven't hung up. Uh, so I gotta figure out exactly what uh, I'm gonna do uh, you know, with that. All right, next is actually my backlog. Uh, so I have, I have a lot of kits. Um, I have not got around to building all these yet, but eventually I will. Uh, I got the drone up there. And then if we look on the other side, there's a couple more kits that I just have not got around to building. Uh, but eventually I'll get, I'll, I'll get these kits built. Um, it's just, you know, with moving and everything, it's been kind of a, a taskful kind of situation. So let me lower the ISO a little bit. Okay. All right, so take a look at the uh, the collection. Essentially, I do have a bunch of Wing Zero stuff right up here. I still need to put, I need to, get, I need to build the perfect gray Wing Zero so I can put that right uh, over there. And then here's just some other Wing stuff. You know, I'm always a fan of the, the Wing series. And uh, more Wing kits. Uh, this is just pretty much the um, 
uh, I think this is frozen teardrop, so all frozen teardrop, and I got some of the OVA stuff right here. Uh, here's just some more wing kits because you really can't have enough wing kits, in my opinion. Uh, down here is going to be iron blooded, iron -blooded orphans. Uh, I don't really have too much uh, in terms of iron blooded orphans, at least not a lot that um, you know, like most people do have. And then looking down here, pretty much uh, G Rack as well as my. Um, uh, G Gundam Builders G, I think. I think that's what these are called. Uh, and then Extreme Gundam. Uh, but mostly all my G Rack is right over here. All right. And then looking over yonder. So I do have uh, Gundam Build Divers stuff is going to be right up here. And then Gundam Build Fighters is going to be all right here. So this is the uh, original Build Fighters. Um, I just want to keep it kind of more uh, organized. Now, this is all uh, the Meijin Kawaguchi's kits, except for uh, the X Mao and the um, the Crossbow Mao. But like the Red Warrior and all those, those are all his uh, suits. And then down here is just some uh, Gundam uh, Bill Fighters Try kits. These are actually mo most of the uh, the enemy mobile suits. All right, and then looking down here, uh, just like random kits, because I only have like one G Gundam kit, a couple of X Gundams, one turn A kit, so those are just going to be down there. Uh, more Bill Fighters Try down there. These are uh, some of the main protagonists, so uh, what was his name? Uh, Yuki? No, Yukio. I, I forgot his name, but the one I paused, the Lightning, you know, those are his kits, and then I got, um, uh, I, I even forgot her name. Fumina, yeah, I got Fumina's kits right behind uh, him. And here's just some more Bill Fighters kits. Uh, these are actually more from the mangas. Uh, so like the Amazing, I think Amazing Ready, um, and just some like from like the Denkai magazine or you know something along those lines. Uh, then over here is pretty much all my Gundam Age stuff. I uh, do love me some Gundam Age. That's more Generation One up there. Uh, this is Generation Two Gundam Age kits. And then this is the Gen 3 kits, so quite a bit in there. Um, and then this is all the bad guys. Uh, have quite a quite a lot of them. That's why they're kind of like all stuffed in there. But eventually, um, I'm probably gonna rebuy some of these and then paint them up, just because you know I want them to look a little better. Uh, down here is a lot of my random Double O kits. Uh, so they're kind of like congested in the back, but uh, overall these are all the Double O kits. Um, now I do have another uh, 00 quant that should be right here in the burst mode, but uh, I still need to like fix it up a little bit. It's kind of like out of commission, but yeah, this is the 00 quant uh, section. Uh, these are all the uh, 00 riser kits, or you know the the 00 Gundam kits. So I got the high grade Trans Am, which I really want to get rid of and get a master grade, but until that happens, I'll just keep the uh, the high grade right there. And these are all the Exia variants, so I pretty much have like almost all of them. I have the uh, Avalanche, the two Estrellas, and then a bunch of these uh, Exias. And looking up here, I got a 160 Exia that I really would love to get a perfect grade of instead. Uh, then I have the perfect grade uh, Metallic, it's like 30th anniversary um, uh, RX-78-2. And looking over here, it's just going to be more of the wing kits. So I do love all my wings. I mean, I, wow! I, I just said wing. All my unicorn kits. So I have like my Banshee, Cassatra, San Anju, uh, just a couple of SDs right here. Uh, Nemo. So bunch of uh, unicorns, and then obviously the perfect grade unicorn. So love me some unicorn stuff. All right. So coming over to the UC side, uh, I do have the um, Psycho Zaku right here. I do have the Thunderbolt that is not built yet, but it's going to go right here. And then I have my bottle of uh, Private Stock that was from the first um, Drunk Review. So if you have not seen the Drunk Review, I highly recommend you um, go through my playlist and maybe check those out. Uh, looking over here, basically, you know, got Shars kits, kind of like more scattered over here with some uh, Origin kits right here. And then some of the Armor Array uh, kits, kind of just like packed in over here. And looking over here, more Armor so I got the high new and the new, and then I got the uh, Sazabi right there. And then down here is going to be like more uh, 0083. I don't have any War in the Pocket stuff. I really wish I did. Um, then I got some ground, um, 
some eighth ms team i got the zuda so just a couple of like more random kits uh kind of on that end and then here's gonna be my zeta uh kit so anything from the zeta series and I'm, I'm trying to just keep uh right in this little section and then down here is just two um of the double uh double zeta kits so these are actually the really old uh, really old master grades uh so that one in particular i'm gonna get rid of once i get the um the verka i don't know what i'm gonna do with it but it'll go somewhere and then here's all my f91 slash uh victory gundam kits so um well i guess this isn't really f91 it's just more crossbone vanguard so these, those are all right here but the f91 is going to go right here in the front and then i'll push this one further in the back and then my um victory kits those two are back there all right so this is kind of more um a random little shelf so anything i have that i think is uh noteworthy to uh set up is going to be right here uh, and then looking right here is going to be all my frame arms girls once they, you know, start kind of flowing in a little bit more. And right here is just going to be um, Gundam uh, Seed Astray. So all my Astray kits will probably be displayed right there. Uh, don't have anything on this shelf yet. And then right here is going to be some seeds. So this is pretty much the uh, boy band, as you can see. And right here is more seed, uh, actually more like Seed Destiny. I got... Um, uh, uh, stargazer right here uh yeah so it's just like seed seed destiny kits uh, a couple of sds right here and then the final shelf is all these beautiful seed kits <laughs> it's just the uh destiny the strike freedom and i got like a, a custom painted freedom and then the uh, stargazer right there um but that's it guys so i'm um, just giving you one more pan around the room nothing nothing really too crazy uh you know, it's kind of like it's almost the same as my old room back in Mississippi uh, but it's just a little bit more organized in my opinion because I didn't like to build in that room so uh, th this room is like way better when it comes to uh, to building it's, it's, it's more organized and I think that's the most important part but yeah this is this is the entire Gundam room so I am very happy with it uh, I do hope that maybe this can maybe bring some inspiration uh, to y'all organization when y'all uh, kind of like or organizing uh, kits. So if you do like to you know, organize, uh, this is probably one of the better ways you can do it. Uh, maybe get some detoffs and uh, put some lights in them and all that. But that's it for me, guys. Definitely thanks for watching. Um, I should be getting some reviews out pretty soon, uh, hopefully tomorrow or tonight. But I will see y'all later. Bye-bye.